Hello, darlings, and welcome to day six of 12 Days of Lipstick. Alrighty, it is drugstore day, and I'm super excited for today's because it is a lipstick brand formula that is very near and dear to my heart, but I am trying out a color that I have not tried before. So I'm excited. And what, what are we talking about? We are talking about Milani. We are doing, thanks Milani for not saying anything on your packaging. That's not helpful. These are the Milani matte lipsticks. I'll look up the actual name. Uh, I have, as you can tell, I am in love. Um, I have four of them. I have Red Label, Matte Kiss, Matte Confidence, and Matte Icon. So obviously three of them are matte, one of them are not. We are today going to try out Matte Confidence because I think it will match my snood today. My absolutely favorite, 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 favorite drugstore lipstick is the number 68 Matte Iconic. It is an exact dupe for Max Ruby Woo, which I can't stand because I don't like the formula. The formula dries up my lips horribly and gets patchy and flaky and blah, blah, blah. But this isn't a Mac review day. Um, I'll get to one later. So let's put this stuff on my face and get on with my day because I got other stuff I need to do today. You know, exciting things like laundry. Let me try this one out. Get right up in your business. Not a lot of drag to it. Goes on pretty smooth. Feels like I don't want to say the word drying because it's not drying, but it is a drier formula. So it doesn't feel, you know, slippery or I don't know. What's another word for not slippery? Um, but it does slide on well. I am so much better at putting on liquid lipstick than I am bullet lipstick. Hey, we're practice. I messed that up. We need a little bit of cleanup. Yeah, let me clean it up just a touch. I am noticing in, I don't know if you can see how the texture on there is just a little wonky. So there's that. And I don't believe I've ever had that happen with the um, matte iconic. So that's new to me. And I can kind of feel that texture when I rub it on my lips, but I don't feel like it's doing anything to the actual application or lipstick itself. Let me see if I can clean up some. I am going to take a lip brush. Oh, my lip brush was dirty. Dirty girl. Dirty, dirty. There we go. Cleaned up. It is dry, but not overtly or overt. Not overly dry. Like, I feel like it's just dry enough to stay in place. I am going to um, blot. Got a little bit on there. All right, so that is it applied. I think it looks fabulous. I think it was the right choice to match today's snood. I will take you throughout my day with me. I Stay tuned and you'll see what crafty things I'm doing with my crafty hands. See you in a bit.
So we are making a tree skirt today and look at that. That is exactly how much trim I had left of what I bought. Hallelujah, it's a Christmas miracle. Ooh, empty bowl, empty bowl. That cupcake really warms. Hi, baby. So it is two o'clock. I didn't even say that I put this stuff on my face at about 11. So it's been on for three hours and I just ate leftover meatloaf, which was a little greasy and so delicious. Yummy. Um, I think we're looking pretty good. And it's very comfortable. I kind of keep forgetting that I have it on my lips, which is why, oh, I must have wiped it off. I did dribble soda. That was embarrassing. Um, and kind of went to wipe up my face and I did get some transfer on my lips. So I, there is, it transfers. But man, it's comfy and it's still there and I just ate. So I'll check back in with you a little bit later. Bye-bye. Oh, maybe this was a bad idea. Uh, the angle, the camera angle, not the lipstick at all. But um, you can never have too much leopard print. You can't even. So it is about four o'clock and I have been uh, busy, busy doing laundry, which I've spared you the boar snore fest of that um, and doing uh, lots of crafting. And now it is time to take a little bit of pain medication and lay down for a good 20, 30 minutes on some ice and get that hopefully back under control. And then I will be up again. So that's what's going on with me. There is my lipstick. I guess it does look a little patchy. Hmm. Hmm. I didn't notice that when I was just looking in the mirror. Um, it feels fabulous. Like I kind of just forget that I have it on. I hear so much about, you know, oh, matte lipstick is so drawing, so drawing, so drawing. And yes, that is absolutely true. I have tried some of the most horrifically drying lipsticks out there, but I've kind of thrown a lot of those away and don't have them in my collection to keep trying. Um, so I just feel like I've gotten really, really lucky. Uh, I guess that does look a little funky. Hmm. When I get back up, I will um, reevaluate and reapply and see how it goes. Cause you know, when you get something into your head that like it's your favorite, even when you see the evidence that maybe it's not perfection, it's still a little hard to take. Hmm. So I'm not complaining too much, but it is what it is. And I'll talk to you a little bit later. Bye bye. I was told to go away because he's opening things. Save it for when I'm not around. Hey, More check time. it out. My husband is not in bed. <gasps> Shocking, kiss test. Mwah. What? I totally thought it was gonna, okay, there is a little bit. Yeah, cause we all, I mean, not, not that bad. Mm. Pretty good job. Even though I'm wearing this wonderful, wonderful knitted cape shawl, I'm freezing. I'm so cold. I'm gonna fix this. If you are looking for mature, womanly makeup advice, um, this is not the channel for you today. I'm warmer now, so um, yeah, like, you know, just, just keeping it real. Real crazy. Let me wipe. Kind of mm, a little bit off. Yeah. Mm. All right, let's reapply. Mm. I feel like this time I'm actually feeling like those little funky bits on the bullet. 
actually happening on my lips. So I'm going to kind of wipe off the bullet and see what happens. Oh, I feel like that just made it worse. Yeah, I can see that there are like some thick bunches in there. It's not really smooth. That is, that's disappointing, especially when I love, love, love the matte iconic so much. I'm, I'm a little disappointed. I mean, I understand that different colors have different formulations and, you know, Sometimes you can love one in a collection and not love the other ones. Um, but I've never really firsthand experienced that. Much better, much better, looking good. I mean, yeah, all of it is looking good. Yeah. We're going to see if we can mutilate this lipstick with some greasy pizza. Hi, Miles. And Cupcake. Whoop. There's a dog party on my lap. So it is 6.30? 5.30? It's 5.30. I've just eaten some greasy pizza. Mwah. From back here, looking good. Up close, not so much. Mm. But Cupcake loves me anyways. It is the end of the day. It is about 8.30. It's mostly worn off. I mean, there's still like a little bit of color there. But it's pretty faded. Yeah. So it's about time to take it off. After wearing it all day today, I really do think, mm, what do I really think? I think that this particular shade of this particular formulation, Milani, um, might be a pass. I mean, was it bad? No. But was it stellar? No, the little crumblies on or little funkiness in the bullet kind of deterred me a little bit. But it's hard for me to say that because I know how much I adore the iconic matte one of this lipstick. I mean, it is so good for drugstore red matte lipstick. So I'm having a hard time kind of really knocking this one too much uh, because I do love this brand so much. Okay, I'm going, hmm, can we get real for a second? It's been, oh, the last few hours have been pretty pain ridden. I'm just trying to hold on. I'll probably cut all of that out. Yay. All right. Thank you so much for hanging out with me on day six. Was that what we were on? Six of 12 days of lipstick tomorrow. I've got another high end one to try out that I have never tried on before and I'm super excited about it. So I hope you join me tomorrow where we go through this whole process all over again and see what other shenanigans I can get into. I don't think it's going to get any better than this, though. Happy holidays. See you tomorrow.